What's going on? This is Marty Styles, and what we got here is Fight Night's Finest. Let's get ready to rumble! Fight Night's Finest. Let's step in the ring where the lights are blinded. I'm about to just knock you out. Now your mouth is you cannot find it. You cannot face the weather warming up like May is weather. Super fast like May weather. You cannot put your face together. Cause my hands is lightning speed. I don't really think people want to fight with me. You'll likely flee like Frazier from Foreman. Guaranteed tonight you'll bleed. Looking like I swiped your feet from under you I'm like Tyson Beast, I punish you I don't think that there's nothing your freaks are gonna do for sleep What is good boxing fans and gamers? It's your boy, Fight Night's Finest, the selfie commentator Back with another Fight Night Champion Online Ranked Match And back with another topical commentary Today we're gonna talk about what it means to not follow what it is that you see everybody doing following the world image you know being like everybody else you know there's nothing wrong with being different but before we get into that i want to touch on the gameplay real quick rocky marciano is just one of those characters man where it just doesn't take much to get a win with him um yes he does have some weaknesses but the guy just hits so hard and his stamina is pretty darn good and also he has an excellent chin and it's really really tough to knock the guy down um, I think more more so that um, Rocky Marciano is a lot more dangerous than a Mike Tyson and when I see a, a Rocky Marciano I, I do tend to feel a bit unconfident just because of the punching power that he possesses and his ability to take shots so in the hands of a person who really knows what they're doing it is extremely hard to beat Rocky Marciano. If you guys don't remember the You Guys Just the Fight video, I picked Muhammad Ali who has a huge reach advantage over him, like a 12 or 13 inch reach advantage over Marciano and it, it didn't matter. It's like whether no matter how well I boxed on the outside, how well I kept that jab in his face just straight. It just wasn't enough to keep this man out. And I, apparently I didn't do enough on the outside here to keep him away from me. And I end up paying the price by going down for the first time tonight. But into today's topic. I've noticed when it comes to YouTube that a lot of people tend to feel like they they got to fall in line with what it is that they see everybody else do. And whether it's YouTube commentaries or just commentary style, people tend to basically do the same thing a lot of the same topics are brought up a lot of things are repeated just due to the fact that everybody's looking for something to chase they're looking for a standard to follow and when you're starting off that's that's normal but eventually you have to branch out into your own you know you have to become your own commentator your own person have your own voice your own style and you tend to see a lot of guys just fall in line with what they see works and what's successful. And you got to remember that at one point these guys didn't have anybody to follow themselves. And they became the model for what it is that you have to do. The guys who are successful in this isn't always the guys who get the shout out. Because just you can get the shout out and you can get the subscribers and you can get the, you know, the followers. But at the end of the day, what's going to keep them around is what you can do. And if you sound just like everybody else, if you don't set yourself apart, you're going to be just another guy that falls off or another guy that gets unsubbed from, another guy whose videos pop up in the subscription box and people don't watch. And this isn't just with YouTube commentaries. This is also in how it goes in real life, whether it's how people dress, how people look how people, you know, tend to go rather their careers. And even on this game, Fight Night Champion, a lot of people tend to go with what they see working, what is successful. And it just shows here with the character selection. Marciano, Tyson, Frost. Those are the guys that you typically see in the heavyweight division. And a lot of people are scared to branch out to the different fighters. They're scared to pick the David Hayes. They're scared to pick the Evander Holyfield. They're scared to pick the Crisco brothers, the Foremans. Why? Because they don't think those things work in online ranked play. And they don't think it gives them the best chance of winning. But your skills should be able to carry you through a match when you're at a disadvantage. When you are at that overall disadvantage. And you know, there's a lot of YouTubers like myself, Dave the Rip one, who tried to show you guys that 
this community to be a lot better if we don't conform to what it is that everybody else does. You will have more fun on the game if you throw combinations, if you use the jab, if you box. You will have, a, you will have so much of a better time playing the game. And that just comes from you being able to figure out your own style. The thing that made Fight Night Round 3 so successful was that people were able to put together their own styles and make ways or right. force their, their will upon their opponent and make the fights exciting because no one fight felt the same. On here, you got a lot of people who like to spam because they know that it works and they know that that exploit can get them a possible win. But where is the fun in doing what it is that everybody else does? You're not gonna always have success if people know exactly what it is that you're gonna do. There's a lot of people in the comment section of my videos who claim to have the answer to be the spammers, who understand how to defeat them. And the thing that gives you the best chance of winning is being able to do something that's different. I can safely say, I don't think there's anybody on this game who plays it the way that I do, who throw the combinations that I throw, who's able to put together the punches that I put together, who's able to make the adjustments the way that I do. And that's because I took a lot of time in trying to learn how to play the game. I understand boxing and just I understand the game mechanics and that's just comes from practice and I think I carry a very unique style and that's possibly what it is that attract you guys to either sitting down and watching these fights or just in general watching my videos. I would like to see people not be a sheep. And what I mean by being a sheep is when you think of a herder or a, a farmer, they put all the sheep together, the sheep goes where the shepherd leaves them to, and everybody goes in that same direction. With you being like that, you're only going to go wherever it is that society intends for you to go. It only is going to take you where the shepherd wants you to be. And your skills are only going to go to what the limit cap is that this game allows and I think the only way you can truly enjoy this game is by not conforming to what it is that everybody else does maybe that's a bit difficult for some people to understand that it's okay to be different that it's okay to bring something else to the table and it's by that by doing that you become a trendsetter yourself and it helps improve what it is that goes on in the gaming community and it helps improve what goes on in society. And the people who tend to be really successful are the people who come up with their own ideas and become those trendsetters. So I just wanna challenge people today to not really follow in line with what it is that you see everybody else doing, regardless to whether it works. Not to say that you have to scrap everything that works, but find new ways to challenge yourself and find new ways to challenge others by being different by showing them something that they haven't seen before so that's basically the commentary for today the topical commentary that i want to be bring to you guys and something i want you guys to think about leave your thoughts in the comment section if you like the topical side of this video please leave a like on this video and let's discuss this knockdown real quick because that in my opinion was absolutely ridiculous I stepped back, landed a counter power straight of my own. He comes back with one after just taking a good, clean, effective shot to the face and knocks me down with one single blow. Now, there's a lot of people who may be watching this video and think to themselves, oh, well, you know, you're leaving yourself open. I'm doing everything on my power to prevent myself from being knocked down. I'm using the outside. I'm using the jack. I'm throwing combinations to help keep his hands in his pocket and also I'm being very careful on defense. I'm counter punching. I'm trying to take advantage of some of the aggression that he's giving. You saw earlier how I would use my footwork in order to stay away from this guy. So at this point when I got knocked down, I said, this guy has lack of digital defense and it's time that we take advantage of his weakness, which is the fact he doesn't block very well. So we were able to put together some combinations, come back, land about five, six shots in a row, and somebody please, Teach that man some defense. As we catch our first knockdown of the fight, it felt so good to drop this guy. It felt so good to put those combinations together 
and just get some confidence back because at this point in the match i think kobe nichols is one of those fighters with the 90 overall yes he is a creative fighter but his kit and his arsenal is very very good versus many of the other heavyweights and i remember about two years ago in this game a lot of people were just picking nickels and that's the main reason why the frost ninja pick was so successful because there was a lot of people who wouldn't mind using kobe nickels just because he was a pretty good counter puncher he has good speed decent strength and he has good reflux rating so it's it's a pretty good matchup. He has the speed of a middleweight, in my opinion. He's kind of size-wise, he looks like a middleweight. We all know that Rocky Marciano was an undersized heavyweight, fighting guys at like 180 pounds, fighting guys who were 200 plus. Why he was a 180 pounds? So, Rocky Marciano, one of the good heavyweights of all time, but you know, only fighter to retire undefeated throughout all weight classes with no losses or draws and have such a high knockout percentage. Out of 49 fights, 40 of them ended by way of knockout, if I'm correct on that stat. So I'm pretty sure somebody will correct me in the comment section if I wasn't. But look what we're doing here. Now we're trying to use the outside. You see the one, two is coming out. You see the combination. We step to the side. We counter that hook of his, and he gets his chin check by the right uppercut. It was such a beautiful shot, and I felt like now he was just being extremely aggressive and throwing just to throw. And with him throwing those three power straights in a row, it really deteriorated his stamina. And that allowed us to start getting back into the fight. So we survived the onslaught. Yes, we took some knockdowns, but for the most part, I think we boxed a pretty good fight. Um, minus the knockdowns, I think we showed good defense, good footwork. Um, the ability to counter punch, the ability to be on the inside, the ability to adjust. And those are the things that you got to look for when you're playing this game. But let's see how many more combinations we can land before the end of this match. We are in the fifth round. And right now, I was just thinking to myself, if I keep throwing combinations, if I keep trying to work the body at this point, I could go ahead and I can win this match. But with a minute left, the one thing I was very cautious of was... The mistake that a lot of people make is that yes they start to come back in a fight and as we missed that side the right up with the counter right there but they tend to try to come back into a fight but then they don't have the juice to do it they don't have the stamina in order to take advantage of all the body work that they did earlier so they can't be as effective as they need to be in order to catch the knockdowns and catch the win in the match so that's when we decided to take it a bit more easier in this round and wait till the six to go ahead and try to finish the job. So you see us on the outside, you see that footwork, you see that defense, and you see that ability to make him miss and come back with a counter right hook of our own. We land a combination just to make a statement, see if we can't get some more damage off him at the end of the round. And with 10 seconds left, I'm thinking at this point, we can definitely get things done in the following round. So one thing this guy could have done different, the power straight was very effective for him, but he could have cut the ring off. He wasn't able to respond well to the lateral movement that we were given. He couldn't respond well to the angles that we were given. So what I was doing was every time he started following me one direction, you would see me step in the opposite direction and start heading that way. This way, I can get away from his strength. And the one thing I really should have done was kept circling away from his power hand. But we kind of did a little Muhammad Ali thing where we kept trying to circle back towards the power hand and just hope that our speed and the distance that we gather would be more than enough. So we had a lot of success going towards our right, and that's exactly what you're supposed to look for as a fighter, and that's exactly what we want to do, is catch another knockout and cold clock him with that left hook and end up finishing this fight. I hope you guys did enjoy this commentary. If you did, I please ask you to like the video and comment once more. Also, follow me on Twitter and check out those guys in the description. They're great commentators. They're great friends of mine, and they will entertain and teach you some things you probably didn't know about Fight Night, UFC, and various other content. I'm going to get going now, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. And look how you just quit at the end. Anyway, it's been your boy, Fight Night's Finest, the selfie commentator. Don't be a sheep, and I'm off. Peace. I told you, brother, I'm the chronicle of our struggles. The voice of the family's like Moses, only keeping it free.